TikTok was eating Silicon Valley's lunch. They were taking all the ad money from Instagram, from Twitter, from Google. I'd say Google and Instagram and Facebook just killing it, knocking it out of the fucking park. So as you guys know, the federal government is discussing banning the app that you're probably watching this video on. And the other social media apps welcome it. Meta, which is like Facebook and Instagram, paid a GOP consulting firm to slander TikTok to try to sway public opinion on it. And the thing that they leaned into was where this app came from. Because, you know, they've tried. No one can seem to create the TikTok algorithm. It's what people want, the, the quick hits, the sing-alongs, etc. So they decided to lobby politicians and come up with this, uh, this scam. So yeah, Targeted Victory, which is the consulting firm in Silicon Valley, as he referred it to, is a big part of trying to get rid of this app. But there's a much deeper role that the federal government is playing and a deeper reason why they want to get rid of this. I have often referred to them as the deep state. So because we have the freedom of speech, the government can't come after us for our free speech. So it doesn't protect us if a social media app decides to ban us or suppress our videos or our posts because of something that we say. So what this part of our largely unelected government does is just go through a third party. They actually just tell Facebook, hey, we don't want that shared, get rid of it. And the source of that information isn't from the Associated Press or from Reuters, it's from Mark Zuckerberg himself. Yeah, so you guys censored that as well? So we took a different path than Twitter. Um, I mean, basically the background here is the FBI, I think, basically came to us, uh, some, some folks on our team, and was like, hey, um, just so you know, like, you should be on high alert. There was, the, we, we thought that there was a lot of Russian propaganda in the 2016 election. We have it on notice that basically there's about to be some kind of dump of, of um, uh, uh, that's similar to that. He's just like, yeah, so the FBI showed up and told me to suppress the story, so I did. I went a different route than Twitter. Twitter just banned the user. And who do you think told the FBI to go to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and everybody else and tell them to suppress stories? That's the other thing. If the app isn't headquartered in the United States, the FBI can't just come in and say, hey, suppress a story. We don't like it. Whether or not it's true. And that's why the middle ground is for TikTok to be sold to somebody not from the country it's from. To the government, that is the best case scenario. We get to keep our app. We get to be happy. Yet they get to have total control over it. And it's not even because we're exchanging information and learning trades and taking over Silicon Valley. It has to do with control. 